Two places, one place there and right there. You can uh, you can custom make um, wooden barriers put in there. That's the template there, the outline of your barrier. And this is what the wooden barriers would look like. If you cut them out. Get rid of two slots. So got little spikes in the bottom, like studded tires. Waterproof. Rated for cold weather, minus 40 to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Well, I love that strap on the back. It's so good for pulling up the pull up your boots so stuff don't uh, the liner doesn't go down the side.
fresh snow? Huh? Thank <laughs> you. 
You getting hungry? Starting to smell good here? Homemade moose jerky there. That's some good. You didn't say your grace. Say your grace. Nope. Say your grace. God's great. God is good. Let us thank him for his food. Amen. Fresh rabbit tracks. Man, that's good. What a beautiful day. Absolutely spectacular. Nice wintry day, not too cold. I think it's been minus 12 or minus 13 degrees Celsius. Not a breeze of wind in the air. All the light snow that was falling this morning is captured on the trees. It's like a postcard wherever you look, really. So I had to cut a couple of sticks for my cabin sheds. I want to make sure this year I'm going to put a couple of logs in there to uh, support the roof. I have like a cathedral ceiling in a couple of my sheds there and last winter uh, we had significant snowfall and a rainfall which is kind of strange for here. Made the snow extra heavy. It captured that rain and one of my roofs capsized. And I also got a brand new sled that you see I put together there. Beautiful sled. It's uh, 94 inches long three feet wide, 17 inches high. It's made out of Ramex plastic, which is extremely strong. Same stuff they make canoes out of. And one of my canoes is over 20 years and I yet to put a crack into it. And I give it some hard use. And it only weighs 50 pounds. That's including the, the tow hitch. So it's a real good sleigh to have. Hopefully to have some big trips with it this winter. So I wanted to try that sleigh out and cut those logs. And of course, on a day like this, how could you not stop and have a cup of tea? And of course, Willow, She's an Australian Shepherd, which is a high-energy dog, which is what we wanted, because our lifestyles are high-energy. And if she's in the house for a couple days, she gets a bit stir-crazy, so it's nice to take her out. And she loves this kind of stuff. And she doesn't get cold. I've had her out minus 30, minus 40, well colder than that, uh, with the wind, actually. And, you know, if you put a... Um, if you put a warming vest onto her, often she's just panting. She's finding it too warm, so her coat is extra thick. She loves to go out in the woods on skidoo. And she loves jerky. And if you've never tried orange peel, dried orange peel in your tea, you're missing out. I like to have my tea black, no, no, no milk, no cream, no sugar. Just a, a, a orange pico tea bag. And if you put orange peel into it, it it just brings out that orange flavor so much, makes it so rich, absolutely delicious. And of course, over a fire, it is even tastes better. And as you saw, you can actually use orange peel as a fire starter. If you get caught in a jam, uh, it has to be dried, but uh, it's also very orange dependent, if that makes sense. I had some smaller oranges there, and uh, one orange, it seemed like... Uh, the, the, it would catch flame quite easily, but the other orange, it wouldn't. I guess it's the amount of uh, juice or wh whatever's in there, the resin or whatever's in that orange peel. I'm not quite sure. Uh, some are, are better to light than others. So if you try it, and it doesn't work the first time, try a different orange. But they all taste good in tea. 
So we're going to head back there pretty soon once we get our teeth on. And we're going to head down to the cabin and stick up those two poles here real quick. I'm joining my son. And he's going to be, uh, we're going to get a couple of snowmobiles that are down there and bring them up so, so we can use them up here in town as well while he's home on a holiday. And I do have uh, two or three videos in the queue to put up. Uh, but it won't be as regular as I usually put them out because myself and Melanie have to go out of town for a little bit to look after a couple of health matters, both her and I. And we're open to clear that up um, as quickly as possible, hopefully. So include us in your hopes and prayers and uh, we'll be back on the trail again, which is what we want. We love life, we love being outside, and we love winter. You know, as long as it's not too, too cold. But on a day like today, how could you not love it? Boy, that is delicious. You guys want to head on back to the trail there now? And uh, I'll probably show a clip of me just sticking those poles up real quick. And then until the next video, save your orange peels and take care. Let's go. Sit pretty. Sit. Lie down. Roll up. <laughs> Big buck. Rabbit tracks. <laughs>